Hey, this is Jeff Rose, GoodFinancialSense.com. Today I want to take you behind the scenes. See, a lot of people ask me, Jeff, how are you making your videos? What equipment are you using? How do you record yourself? Do you have a production team, which I don't? Uh, and how are you editing your videos? So these are some of the common questions I've been getting. So today I thought I would give you kind of a behind the scenes look at how I'm doing them. So this is actually my home office where I've done some of my videos. And if you've seen some of my other videos, a lot of them also are done at my home office. But I'll show you some of the equipment that I use, not only at my house, but my home office as well. So let's take a look, shall we? This is what I call the ghetto setup. <laughs> and let me show what I mean. So what you're seeing here, we have our $40 Kodak tripod that I bought off Amazon. Um, this thing actually has already broken, but I have super glued it together, and actually it broke right in here. So anytime I try to break this down now, it doesn't doesn't cooperate. So I was taking this back and forth from the home office to uh, to the uh, the business office. But right now I'm just using it at the home. So this is the Kodak $40 tripod. Uh, it's I did start off with a Walmart tripod for like 25 bucks, and that thing was that much junkier. So at least this one has lasted me a little bit longer. But I am getting ready to upgrade and actually spend some money and looking at a, I think I'm between a hundred to 200 dollar tripod that I can take. Uh, elsewhere because this thing this thing is rather light. I mean this thing uh, I mean it's 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 okay but can definitely do a little bit better. So 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 now let's take a look at how I do it myself. So this is the standard setup. What you're seeing here this is my Kodak ZI8 and what I have attached to it is my really really long lavalier and this puppy right here is what I use to hook to my shirts. Uh, it's got a little clip here. This thing is okay. The only problem with this thing, it doesn't really clip the shirts very well. So on like my polos and stuff, it just kind of slides a little bit. Um, I wish I did have one of those clips on there, but I'm trying to kind of make something now. But the cool thing about this thing is that it is really long. As you can see, it's I think about six foot in length. So I can stand back here and uh, still have good sound. So, and that's one thing I will say that I really liked the Kodak for is this external mic jack. Uh, that thing is huge. Uh, what I'm actually using right now is my flip camera, which I'll show you another variation of it. But unfortunately, the flip cam does not have an external mic jack. And for audio, I can't say how much more solid it is uh, using the Kodak ZI, ZI8. So. The only problem using these little flip cameras, they are inexpensive in comparison to other cameras, but the problem is, is the viewfinder. As you can see, the viewfinder is right here, is on the back of the camera, uh, which is great when you're holding the camera, but what if you're trying to record yourself? So what I've had to do is what you're seeing here is a piece of trim that was used in our house building process. Uh, I have a shaving mirror that I bought at Walmart for I think three dollars and then an awesome duct tape job uh, with of the mirror onto the uh, piece of trim but what this enables me to do is I can actually see myself while I'm recording and that my friends is a neat little trick so as you can see or maybe you can't see but there I am so that way I can make sure that I'm in focus, that I'm in the pain, and that I'm not talking, and then I do a four minute video and realize that I've cut my head off. Uh, but that is one trick that I've used doing the tripod. Now, this with this tripod, it worked out using the, the piece of trim, but what I have seen, uh, actually some tripods don't have that little spot to fit in, but what I've seen some people do is they'll take uh, the handle here and they'll put, uh, in one case I saw somebody take the center of an aluminum foil, like the tube, the hard cardboard tube, and they've slid that across that and then also then affixed uh, a mirror to the end of that, uh, into that aluminum foil tube. So there is a lot of different variations, but whenever you're doing videos by yourself, 
this is a very handy setup to help you out. So this is one aspect of how I do a lot of my videos. Now since my tripod is mostly at the, uh, at the house now, what I have been using to supplement is this little bad boy here. This little piece here, uh, I think it, you could probably get it for less than $10 on, uh, on Amazon, but all you do is you just screw this little thing to the base of the camera and essentially is what you have a little mini tripod. So oftentimes what I'll do is I'll actually say fix this on a bookshelf as such, put the camera on top, and then how I then do the mirror trick is I take this once, maybe this is a $3.99 uh, shaving mirror, but I'll just put that behind uh, the camera there and that way usually I can see myself and this is actually this is the older version of flip that I had this is not the HD I'm using the HD one now so I would put it like so and then try to uh, set up the, uh, the 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 mirror there where I could see the background uh, another thing that could also work is if you have a picture uh, this is me by the way Halloween costume uh, me and my wife yes that's uh, I was the tin man I digress but you could also use like a picture frame because all you need, well, the cool thing about these little handheld cameras is that it's an automatic focus. So as long as you're in pain, is you're going to be in focus. Uh, so that's you know one of the, the bonuses of, of using these uh, handheld type cameras. So, But that is how I've been using uh, at my office to film a lot. Now some of my better quality videos, I have used this bad boy here. This is our Canon. SLR, this is a T1i Rebel, and this thing, man, the freaking, the 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 HD quality is just, it's just mind-numbing. Um, I I start to salivate when I see the quality of a the Canon versus the my flip cams. I mean, there is just no no question. Uh, the only downfall uh, with this camera is that this is the first generation of the. I guess the T1i series, and they now have a T3i. And the cool thing about the T3i is that ours does not have an external mic jack, so the audio is is quite poor. That's one downfall. Uh, the other downfall is since this the focus is so much more sensitive. Uh, when you're by yourself, even using my mirror setup, it's really hard to get myself in focus. Uh, using this this thing, so I don't use this as much. Uh, like I use I use it for a few videos in my office, and I loved it, but it was just so hard to get myself in focus. But the cool thing with the T3i is not only does it have an external mic jack, but now they also have a flip. Uh, what do you want to call it? But basically, where this the uh, the video pane or the the viewing pane will flip out, and then you can turn it around and you can then see yourself. So that actually would defeat the need of having to use the uh, the shaving mirror setup. Uh, so that's once again what I'm trying to convince my wife that yeah we need to uh, we need to buy another camera but hopefully we can maybe sell this one to somebody else that wants to uh, is more focused on taking uh, pictures versus doing video. And okay and the last piece right now as far as how I do the uh, the movie making magic is my trusted little Mac here. Uh, this bad boy was given to me as a Christmas present uh, this past year, and this is like the coolest toy that I, I've ever got. And all I'm using right now is iMovie. iMovie is a editing software that is that comes automatically on the Mac, and that right now is where I do all uh, all my editing, uh, upload it to there, and this is actually what has just opened up right here. So this is a, a look at iMovie uh, to where I do all my editing. I have been looking at some other call them higher speed uh, editing software. The one that I'm looking at right now is called, the name of it is Final Cut Pro. And it is able to do just a little bit more stuff, but you can do a lot with, uh, with iMovie. You can do the, the captions and, and all that good stuff. 
and it's really, really easy to use. Like when I first used this, I uploaded and edited a movie within 30 minutes. So I mean, it was that easy uh, to learn. Um, another thing that I have been getting questions on is I've been doing more Skype videos uh, here lately, and uh, one of the effects that I've been able to do is to do the split screen uh, look, which a lot of people are asking, how do I do that? And if I can actually just pull up one so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, here's one of the interviews I did here recently. So the look that I'm referring to is this right here. So as you can see, this is an interview I did with Phil Tyrone, 720 credit score. So now you got the split screen uh, look here. And all that is, is whenever I open my Skype, uh, which I was just doing there in a minute, I've got this little button that pops up. It's called Call Recorder. And this was uh, bought through a, a company, and I'll, I'll have a link for it, a link for it uh, called Ecamm. And Ecamm has some neat little products, and one of them is the, uh, the call recorder. And they also have something that improves the, uh, the look and the lighting on your uh, built-in uh, uh, camera on the, uh, on the computer itself. So I think all in all, I think the call recorder was like 20 bucks, and the eyeglasses, which is another product of theirs, was like 10 so 30 bucks all in. And that, my friends, is a quick look at how I produce my videos. As I mentioned, as far as upgrades I'm looking for, I do want a T3i. I'm drooling over it. If you could help me petition, campaign to, to convince my wife that, that I need it, uh, because I know I don't, but I want it. But and then also an editing software, Final Cut Pro. Um, I can get a discounted version, I think, for a couple, maybe $300, $400. So it's not cheap. And, you know, iMovie will do a lot for you. But as I as I start doing this more, I just, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. So I just want it to be better crisp. I want it to have more of just neat little graphics, just to make it more memorable. So when people do watch their video, my videos, it does have its own uniqueness to it. But other than that, that's it. And... I, I love doing the videos. Uh, I actually prefer them over doing uh, blog posts. Uh, it, I can crank out, I mean, a three-minute video. If, if I, it takes one take, it takes me three minutes. Uh, if it takes me two or three takes, may, maybe it takes me ten minutes. But typically, I can crank out videos like nothing. Uh, from there, I do have a, a transcriptionist that transcribes the videos for me. So once I get them edited and uploaded to YouTube, I just forward the link to her and she'll listen to the video, transcribe it for me. So that takes a lot of that legwork out of it, a lot of that legwork out of it. And then pretty soon my wife is going to be helping me edit videos because I've got so many video ideas, but the editing, uh, that takes me on a good night, maybe 30 minutes. Uh, depends on how many pictures I'm inserting or just how, uh, how anal I am about the video itself, but... 30 to 45 minutes on average is how it long it takes long it takes me to edit a uh, three to four minute video. But for me to write a 500 word blog post, I guarantee you it's going to take me longer than 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, it usually takes me a little bit of time to, to put that stuff together. So, But if you have any more questions, please feel free to uh, either leave a comment here at the video or contact me at the blog. Uh, and I hope that you were able to learn something from this. And we'll see you soon. Thanks again.